hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you some battery saving tips and tricks for the iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max now do note some of these tips and tricks like disabling pro motion or always on display are specific to the iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max but other tips and tricks like configuring your per app notifications your location weather can be applied to any iphone in general so without any further delay let us get down to business first up let us talk about the new always on display feature which apple introduced with the iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max now no matter what they say that they are dimming the pixels it does not drain that much battery tests have proven that the always on display on the iphone 14 pro and the 14 pro max does drain some battery so how do you fix that well you have two options you go into settings display and brightness scroll down go into always on display so either you can disable always on display fully or if you still want to use your always on display i do recommend that you use this option of show wallpaper toggle this option off because that is going to make the background or the whole wallpaper black and only show you the time which is going to definitely consume less power than having your wallpaper displayed on the always on display screen but me personally i just prefer to keep it off all the time next up while we are talking about dark pixels using less power and being less stressful on your battery another pro tip of saving battery and increasing battery life on your iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max is to use dark mode so either you can go into your control center and here it is i have the toggle to enable or disable dark mode or you can go into settings and once you are in settings you can go into display and brightness but by mistake i clicked on control center so anyways if you do not have the option of dark mode in your control center you can always go into settings and control center and add the option as you can see i have it over here but going back into display and brightness here it is you can have your dark mode running all the time or in case you want to set a schedule for it you can do that as well so you have sunset to sunrise or a custom schedule and yes enabling dark mode is going to be less stressful on your battery because these black pixels do not drain or do not require as much power as the light or the white pixels then let us talk about auto brightness so the pro tip here is don't be mkbhd and run your iphones at one brightness or maximum brightness all the time enable auto brightness there is a reason why apple has this option not in display and brightness but instead you go into settings then you go into accessibility display and text size scroll down and here is the option for auto brightness it is hidden down there so that you do not disable it and if you do not like the brightness level which is automatically set by your iphone 14 pro or the iphone 14 pro max you can always go into the control center and from therein you can adjust the automatic brightness which has been set another pro tip over here is that if we go back into our display settings you have to set the screen timeout to a decent enough time do not set your auto lock or screen timeout to five minutes or like never i have done five minutes because i am recording this video but if i'm not recording videos on my iphone 14 pro the auto lock for the screen is set as 30 seconds then we can talk about keyboard haptics now android users have been bragging about their keyboards having haptic feedback and apple finally budged they added the option of having a pretty decent pretty good haptic feedback on your keyboard with every key press but officially as per apple that can also cause 
battery drain so if you type a lot on your iphone you're sending messages emails that haptic feedback is in fact draining battery on your iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max so how do you disable that you go into settings then you go into sound and haptics here in you can scroll down go into keyboard feedback and here it is you can turn off this toggle of haptic and now you're not going to get any vibration feedback when you key press on your iphone keyboard but it is also going to save you some battery then a system service or a feature which might be draining the most battery on your iphones is location and i know you have to enable location if you have to use find my iphone but there are some awesome tweaks which you can do to the location services on your iphone 14 pro or the iphone 14 pro max to give you a better battery backup so for starters if you are using the newest ios right and you have these new awesome looking lock screens now one of those lock screens is the weather one so if i go into weather and astronomy and i select this one here it is this is the one which is going to tell me the weather of my location now as you can see it is telling me that location services are turned off now what does this mean this means that if i use this lock screen it is going to get the weather for my location every time i lock or unlock my device or after a specific amount of time which could be 30 seconds or one second now i do not want that so for one if you're using this lock screen i recommend against doing that then the other pro tip over here is that hey manji how do i get the weather well to be very honest i think you need the weather for your city right because that is where you spend the most time you do not need the weather for your location if you're traveling around the city it Self. So here is what we are going to do. We are going to delete the existing weather widget which you have on your screen. So you can press and hold and we are going to say remove the widget. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to press and hold on the empty space. We enter wiggle mode. Then we are going to tap on plus on the top left. This is going to show up all the widgets and we are going to add back our weather widget so here it is at the bottom weather we are going to add it and we are going to select add widget now the weather has been added it is telling me no weather data so next up you tap on done on the top right then you press and hold on this weather widget and you say edit the widget and we are going to select my location now these are all the cities right now but if i tap on search i can actually plug in any country which i want to so let us say i want the location or the weather data for new delhi so i enter new space delhi and here it is new delhi india and this is now set as my location and i can now tap anywhere else and i should have the weather data for new delhi in this widget pretty soon bam there it is so similarly you can have the weather data for your city without having to ping the location server every time or after every specific amount of time thereby saving you some battery next step let us fine tune this location service some more so you go into settings and then you can go into privacy and security then we are going to go into location services so the master toggle for location services is enabled first of all you can configure your location on a per app basis to fine tune your location settings because you do not want all apps to have access to your location all the time so if i go into app store i have like never 
ask next time or when i share and while using the application similarly for find my iphone here it is i have given it access to precise location because it is helpful in finding my iphone google maps you have four different options never ask next time or when i share while using the app or always and precise location is needed for navigation so you can fine tune and just to save battery for whether i had said never before i had the pro tips which i gave you earlier in this video then if you go into system services here and also you can scroll down and you will see some product improvement options like iphone analytics routing and traffic improve maps now how does routing and traffic work well if you don't already know then how the maps services work is like crowd sourced they check the speed at which you might be traveling or if there are too many devices in the same area they have their machine learnings their ai to determine that hey traffic is moving slow over here so this is what they are using me personally i would recommend you turn these off but you want to be a good samaritan then you can always turn it on for routing and traffic the other thing you can do is go into share my location and herein if you are not sharing your location with anybody friends or family then you can always turn this option off of share my location now some more toggles which you can disable to save some more battery on your iphone and the iphone 14 pros as if you go into settings go into privacy and security scroll down and here and you have analytics and improvements so these are all going to send data to apple and if you do not want that me personally i have turned all these toggles off because i don't want to share the iphone analytics the icloud analytics improve safety or improve siri and dictation because me personally i don't use siri but if you do and you want to improve its dictation feel free to enable any of those toggles on a personal basis next up let us talk about background data refresh so if i go into settings then i go into battery over here you will notice that twitter is using 11 percent with background activity same applies for gmail as well now what if you do not want twitter and gmail to be using battery in the background how do you fix that well you go into settings then you go into general then you go into background app refresh and here and of course you can toggle this on and off for specific applications or you can turn it off all together or you can configure it to enable on say wi-fi or wi-fi and cellular data in case you're worried about saving data on your cellular networks but if you keep it off all the time for all the applications out there it should not make much of a difference and if you notice an application which is acting weird after you have disabled your background app refresh you can always configure it on a per app basis next up with the iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max you do get high refresh rate displays however that is going to use up some battery so what if you want to disable this pro motion display how do you do that well you go into settings and then you go into accessibility then you go into motion at the bottom you will see the option of limiting the frame rate so this is going to set the maximum frame rate of the display to 60 frames per second now of course you're using a pro iphone you do not want 60 that is a personal preference but if you want to save some battery you can always enable this toggle another thing you can do is enable the reduce motion and enable the preferred crossfade transitions now this is going to kill the smooth animations of the iphone but it is also going to save you some battery another pro tip is do not and i repeat do not kill all the applications running in the background some of us have the habit of 
killing apps which are running in the background because we think that is going to improve the performance of our device but an important thing to note over here is that free ram is wasted ram and that is one of the reasons why apple iphones do not have a clear all or kill all applications button so only kill the application if it is not behaving normally or you do not want it running in the background for example apple maps or google maps which might be pinging your location all the time loading the applications back into memory is going to consume some battery so in some cases it is better to leave the applications in the memory which is why we have something called ram management the next tip to save battery on your iphone 14 pro and the 14 pro max is the settings for your mail application if you are not a big email person and you do not care about sending a delayed response to an email or you're not worried about getting an email on time you can always go into settings then you go into mail go into accounts and go into fetch new data and as you can see for me i have set it automatically because i personally like my emails to be delivered on time i am prompt about responding to emails or if i have an alert set for something but if your bread and butter is not emails and responding to emails then you can always set it to every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes or you can set it to hourly and if you set it to manually then your emails will be delivered whenever you open the mail application then the other thing you can do is you can configure your notifications so you do not want notifications from all applications to be showing up on your lock screen or while you are working on your iphone 14 pro or the 14 pro max so how do you fix that well you go into settings then you can go into notifications once you are in notifications you will see a list of the applications so in my case you know i don't want any notifications from say the app store so i can disable those then similarly for the books application i don't want notifications from book as well so you can disable those as well and similarly you can find other applications from which you might not need notifications and disable the notifications for those specific applications then let us talk about your network selection and 5g everybody knows 5g modems can be a battery hogger and they do drain more battery so how do you limit that well you go into settings then you go into cellular once you are in cellular you go into cellular data options and herein for your voice and data you can either set it to lte or you can set it to 5g auto you do not want it to be 5g on all the time because let us say you are in a region wherein 5g is not working properly or they do not have 5g then it is going to connect to lte which means that 5g on all the time is going to drain your battery so either keep it 5g auto or put it as lte now do note if you put it as lte you're not going to get 5g in 5g supported regions so my personal preference is 5g auto and last but not the least if you are in a pinch and you want to get through the day or just make it to a charger you can go into settings battery and then you can enable your low power mode now this is going to disable your background activity reduce it any new data which has to be fetched like your emails will be fetched when you charge your phone so again use this low power mode only when you are in a bench and there it is peeps those were the tips and tricks which you can use to increase the battery backup on your iphone 14 pro or the iphone 14 pro max or if you are facing any issues with battery drain you can try some of these tips and tricks and of course if you have any tip and trick which i missed do mention it in the comments below and if any of these tips and tricks work 
pretty good for you do let me know about that as well